I need that person number 10. Welcome to the final table of the $5,000 Pot Limit Omaha event from the World Series of Poker. An original field of 134 players has been whittled down to just 10, each looking to take home the $630,000 grand prize and the coveted gold bracelet. Remember, in Omaha, you can use two and must use only two of the cards in your hand to make your best poker hand with the community cards. And this is Pot Limit. You can only raise the size of the pot at any given time. Any other restrictions you're going to put on our game today, Norman? I'm going to buy a leash at Pepco if you don't treat me better. <laughs> Ivy pairs is Jack, but still trails the aces of St. Peter. And Ivy comes out with 50,000 chips. Ivy also has a straight draw. St. Peter also picked up a straight draw. The ever-moving eyes of Phil Ivy. Yep, I'm going to do it. St. Peter says he's going to do it. He's going to move all in with the rest of his chips. It's 23,000 more. He moves all in. All right. 23. Just, just gambling a little bit. Phil Ivey says he wants to gamble now, getting a pair of jacks and a straight draw on the flop. I just feel like gambling. When doesn't he feel like gambling? He just beat Jean Robert Ballon for 5,000 at Ms. Pac-Man and beat Phil Helmuth for 100 grand on the golf course. <laughs> Turn card is a queen and the gamble pays off. Ivy now with two pair. So St. Peter trails in this hand. If he goes out, then Phil Helmuth would set the World Series record for number of caches. St. Peter on a flush draw or a four, five, or six would keep him alive. And now the river card, nine of clubs. Richard St. Peter comes up short. He will go out in 10th place and no money. That's a tough position. Phil Ivey wins the hand with two pair, queens and jacks. And a huge advantage over Phil Helmuth, who's in danger of being knocked out of this tournament. It's a six of diamonds and all but kills Helmuth's chances. Yeah, you, you got to feel for Helmuth, Lon. When that flop hit, he had visions of doubling up and making a big step towards that record-tying 10th bracelet, but he is down to his last card. It has to be a queen, the only queen left in the deck, or he's gone. River card. It's paint, but it's a jack. Robert Williamson earns the degree check mark, winning the hand and knocking off Phil Helmuth in the process. His quest for number 10 has ended here. Stone Cold Cool. I have him covered. I have him, I have him covered. Action on Phil Ivey. He's got ace 10 of spades. He will call the big blind coming to the pot over to Eddie Scharf. Eddie is in the small blind. Pair of deuces. And he calls the big blind over to the big blind, Siggy Stockinger. Pair of queens, double suited. He's got the best hand of the group of them. And he will check to the flop. So five players once again to our flop. Stockinger's queens are best right now. The flop comes queen, deuce, eight. Stockinger with a set of queens. Oh, Stockinger gets top set. Williamson has a set of eights. Sharp with a set of twos. Ivy with a nut flush draw. And Alan Cunningham forgot to pay his club dues. <laughs> Sharp checks, Stockinger checks. Over to Williamson with a set of eights. As soon as he bets 30,000, Cunningham folds action on Phil Ivy. A lot of cards to check on deck. Ivy will make the call of the Williamson bet. Now Eddie Scharf. Remember I told you you should beware of having bottom set. He has bottom set. Race, all in. He did not hear you. 139,000, all that Eddie Scharf had is in the pot now. Stockinger to add. And he will go all in with top set. <laughs> wow. Three queens for Stockinger. And now with middle wow. set is Robert Williamson. Biggest lay down in the tournament so far. And he kicks in those eights. How much is it? Great lay down. Now Ivy. A lot of action to Ivy. Wow. Ivy's in the pot. Holy moly. I, I, I folded three. I folded. It must be the nut flush fill. I knew it. And it, I had a free eights. Oh, my gosh. Three queens? Yes, I folded three eights, too. Three eights, wow. Three eights and a straight draw, jack nine. No flush. The eights are dead, Phil. You're going to like that. I had three eights. Uh, I mean, it's hard to fold at that point. If I have your hand, Phil, I call too, but I, I can't call. I don't have a flush draw. In Omaha, a drawing hand sometimes is just as good as a set. I like this hand. 
Those two guys look like they're waiting on Judgment Day. They're both all in. Now, Ivy hasn't made the hand yet. He just has four spades to the flush with the turn card. And he wastes no time. Seven of spades. Ivy with the nut flush. Oh, and now Ivy can knock out both of them if neither one improves on the river. Stockinger needs a queen or a seven to stay alive. And Eddie Sharp needs the last deuce in the deck or he's gone. And now the river is a jack of clubs. Bill Ivey in the right place at the right time, collecting the remaining chips of two players that he knocks out. Eddie Sharp goes out in seventh place. Siggy Stockinger takes sixth place because he had more chips at the start of the hand. Robert Williamson could have been a third victim there. Bill Ivey has almost half the chips in play. What was wrong with that leaderboard? Ivey, Williamson, Cunningham, and who? Davud Merman in third place. Phil Ivey with an ace-king and double-suited calls the big blind. Robert Williamson folds over to Alan Cunningham, who's the short stack at the table right now. Right. Got a pair of queens, and he is double-suited as well, and he announces a raise. Terrific starting hand. He's put in a raise of 24,000. Merman will fold, and Ivey quickly makes the call. These two 28-year-old great players who broke in at the same time have a great deal of respect for each other. Cunningham with a slight advantage with a pair of queens. And the flop is 4-10. Queen all diamonds. Ivy flops a flush. And a set of queens for Cunningham. What a monster flop for both of them. Cunningham will be first to act. Cunningham comes out with 40,000. Action on Phil Ivy. He raises, and Cunningham makes the call and is all in. Cunningham knew once Ivy bet that Ivy had flopped the flush, but he was short stacked, pot committed, and he has a lot of outs. Phil Ivy with the advantage, a chance to knock off a very powerful Alan Cunningham. Heck, you had a good starting hand? It's no fair. <laughs> yeah, but I, I can't have a good starting hand. Ivy has four bracelets. Cunningham's bid for his fourth bracelet will end right here unless he gets the board to pair, pure and simple. And turn card is a seven, useless to Alan Cunningham. I repeat, Cunningham needs the board to pair. The board must pair. He must see the board paired, or his day is over. So chip leader Phil Ivy, I think, <laughs> wants to avoid the board pairing to knock off Alan Cunningham. And now the river card is a king. It doesn't pair the board. Alan Cunningham is done. Good luck. Phil Ivey's flush takes the pot down and eliminates Alan Cunningham in fourth place. Robert Williamson right now seeking his second bracelet in Omaha. Looks at his whole cards, queen 10, double suited. Can't tell you how badly Robert wants this bracelet. For Phil Ivey, well, he only showed up because his cash game was canceled. <laughs> Ivey with ace, queen, and a couple of spades. And it will be Ivy with the slight advantage going to the flop. It comes out queen, queen six, trip queens for both, but Ivy's got the ace kicker. Whew, this is one heck of a flop. Three queens for both. Bill Ivy to act, comes out with 25,000. That's not much. And if you're rooting for Robert Williamson, someone needs to go in and rescue him right now. <laughs> It's only 25,000 chips to Robert, and he will make the call. Ivy with a two to one advantage going to the turn cart. The turn's an eight of hearts. Nothing there to scare Phil Ivy. He knows his three queens with the ace kicker is probably good. Ivy once again to act. And he pushes out a little more, 75,000 chips. And again, Williamson wastes no time in calling. Both players looking to pair one of their whole cards to make a full house. Williamson has to pair one of his whole cards to win this hand. So Robert Williamson with one more shot here on the river. It's an eight of diamonds that seals the pot win for Ivy if he doesn't fold. Some people get confused and don't know about Omaha right now. You might think there's a full house out there. There's not. Remember, you got to play two cards in your hand. So it's the three queens with an ace kicker for Ivy against the three queens with a 10 kicker for Williamson. And Ivy pushing harder, 200,000 chips. This will cripple Williamson if he calls. And he looks like he will, and indeed he does make the call. And he just lost a huge pot to Phil Ivy. I didn't think he'd bluff there. I don't know why I called. I had a worse queen. Mr. Omaha right now feels more like, I don't know, Mr. Palookaville or something. <laughs> Second bracelet uh, much further out of reach right now after that devastating last hand. Well, as low as Robert might feel right now, conversely, 
Phil Ivey is that much closer to his fifth World Series of Poker bracelet. And he looks at his whole cards, middling connectors with a couple of clubs. He will call the big blind. Robert Williamson got a pair of deuces and overstocked in clubs. It's amazing Ivey can be approaching his fifth bracelet. He won three in 2002, but he doesn't play that many World Series tournaments. Ivy with a slight advantage to the flop. It comes 4, 7, 8, and Ivy got a straight to the 8. Oh, Ivy flops the nuts straight, and he just acts like he's waiting for the 11 o'clock news to come on. Williamson first to act in a deep hole. He'll come out with 40,000 chips, and Ivy raises enough to put Williamson all in. This is sick, man. Robert Williamson is stuck. And he's close to running on empty here. And indeed, he will call and go all in. Gonna have to get lucky. Did you flop the nuts? Yeah. yeah. Robert sees it, and he knows he's gonna need running clubs or a full house in a hurry, or Phil Ivey will be our champion. Flop the nuts. This day started with Phil Halmuth trying to get to a record-tying 10th bracelet, and now Phil Ivey, at the age of 28, can get halfway there with his fifth if this hand holds up. Well, Robert seems resigned to a runner-up finish, but we still got the turn and river to go. Gonna need a miracle. We're hoping for it. Runner, runner. How about one club, one time. Give a good sweat. Let's have a sweat. So frustrating for Williamson. We saw him finish run up last year against Chao Zhang, and now he's hanging by a thread. How about a club? Give me a sweat. Just one sweat. Could be a blank on a river. Just give me a sweat. Turn card. Is a four. Go ahead and sweat, Robert. <laughs> a little life. Two deuces. Two deuces or four. He has two deuces or two fours. Or two four. I got four outs. No, no four. Bill has a four. I was spinning. Uh, I got two outs. That's two more than I had to have. I told you I just wanted a sweat. Now I got a sweat. I got a two outs. Well, that's not really a sweat. It's more like a trickle. <laughs> just a bit of one. Phil Ivey, one card away from another bracelet. Deuce of diamonds. I promise to play better if you give it to me. <laughs> River card. It's a three, it does not play for Robert Williamson. He finishes second again, and Phil Ivey joins the likes of Stu Unger, Ted Forrest, and Chris Ferguson with five World Series bracelets.